Welcome back, YouTube world. Casual Let's Play. Um, check the description box. I may have timestamps that you can click on. I am the showcase guy. I'm going to be going through the menu. It might take me five minutes until we get into the action. So if you're like, ah, oh, I just want to get to the pew pew and the bang bang and... Well, look at the description box, because I will put a timestamp as to where the action starts when I start the campaign, which is not right now. So we have campaign, multiplayer, VR, data viewer. Let's get right into this, just to show you quickly what it would look like. Campaign records. So just all your stats. And I think that's kind of neat, because I kind of like looking at these a little bit more than... Uh, you know, PlayStation and Xbox achievements and all that. Those I don't really care for. This would be kind of cool. So you could read that real quick. I'm not going to go through each one. Oh, okay, the big one on the right is just, it's just making it zoomed in. Okay, so enough of that. Campaign Assault Records. Gotcha. A viewer, uh, just some of the basic stuff. Oh, sorry. Aircraft viewer. So I just have the standard edition, so we can select an aircraft, for example. These are the ones that I own, so the F-16. The F-4E. And the F-104C. So a lot of these, again, I don't know a lot about aircraft, so I've, I've warned people. Last time I played an air combat flight simulator game was uh, Chuck Yeager's Air Combat by EA Electronic Arts way back in 1991 on uh, MS-DOS. So you pick your aircraft, then you can uh, select a skin. This one, I, I only have the one. This one, I got a sortie more than 50 times in multiplayer mode. mode. Destroy a certain named aircraft that appears in campaign mode. Complete campaign, complete the campaign, and complete the campaign. Select an emblem. Okay. Rookie. Sure. Whatever. Set. Oh, okay, I see. You could turn them on and off if you want. I can't. The only thing I don't like is the... Uh, in the preview, you can't stop it from turning. I'll just leave them on for all of them. Whatever. Select the nickname. Airman. The Phantom Rider. Whatever. Can't select the hanger because I don't apparently have any. Scene viewer. Watch movies you have seen in campaign mode. PlayStation Store. Standard credits. Copyright. Quit game. Let's go to options. Flight system. Let's click on that. So we've got the standard. The expert. Well, let's read the standard. These controls enable you to turn by pressing the left stick left and right. Recommended for those who want intuitive controls. Expert. This control type is recommended for experienced ace combat players. Turning is performed via roll and pitch adjustments, allowing for more realistic aircraft controls. I might try that after. But for, for now, I don't care about that. Set the high G turn controls. Performing a high G turn by deaccelerating. Hmm. Reduce collision damage. Turn damage reduction for surface collisions on and off. Turning it on reduces the damage you take from contact with terrain under certain conditions. Does not affect multiplayer mode, yeah. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I might turn that on just for now because I'm a noob. 
Like I said, I haven't played a, a game, a uh, flight sim in almost 30 years. 28 years to be exact, whatever. Vibration, sure, we'll have that on. That's the flight system. Now we've got the controller. Pitch controls. Ah, oh, right, normal and inverted. Yeah. Acceleration. Yeah, I like that one more. Change weapons. Okay, there we go. Yeah, alright. So we'll leave that on the default. Flight stick. Well, there you go. People were saying you can't have a flight stick, I think Kotaku or whatever, that uh, seems to be a popular game reviewer, said, I can't wait for it to come out on PC because you can't use a stick, I think he said, on console. Well, it looks like you can here. Look at that stick right there. Camera movement, normal, inverted, okay. Right, so anyways, there's the stick. Apparently there's a stick for the PlayStation 4. That looks like that could be interesting. And it's called the T-Flight HOTUS 4. Now let's look at the display. Your HUD on, off, meters, feet and knots. Funny, I actually prefer feet and kilometers. <laughs> Not feet and nautical miles and knots, but anyways, whatever. Sure, we'll leave that all on the default. Sound. BGM, voice volume, chat. I don't think it's too loud, but you know what? Just in case, for the sake of recording, I'm just going to turn it down a tad bit. And then language, whatever. Voiceover, English, Japanese. But the subtitles can be in French. I know, boring, eh? Seven and a half minutes and we're not even into the game yet. Last thing I want to check is the PlayStation Store to see if there's any, I don't know, stuff to buy, extra skins. The season pass add-on, 30 bucks. Purchasing the season pass will give players access to a music player within the game. No, we're good. Alright, let's get into it. So it looks like my timer is going to be set for 8.30. For the description there for the timestamp. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to choose easy. Ah, the difficulty cannot be changed part way through. Hmm. This is the standard difficulty for those who are used to Ace Combat's control. <laughs> Want a bit more? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's pretty hard. I'm just going to do easy. I'm probably still gonna suck. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? It does to me. A hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. 
Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging could. eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. Then I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 Gs at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusian emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. Well, you should have been doing your best with these piece of junk. You should have built a return to. All right, so in the well, a little late to mention this now, but I did here? mention timestamps. Settle down. I said, settle down. Oh. You have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Hmm. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhen ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft. Then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft have burned overhead. What? How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. 
All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. This is not a drill. Okay, so 15 minutes in and I'm finally about to play the game. Good thing I mentioned uh, timestamps in the description. So, whoa, zoom in. Sorry, I'm just getting used to this here. I'm trying to get my mission preps option. Right, okay. Briefing, no. Aircraft tree. I don't have any of that. All right, let's start the mission. Oh, there we go. You do get to select your your aircraft. Special weapons. Don't have much of a choice there. Uh, select aircraft. We did that. Leave the hangar. Finish editing. Leave the hangar. Squadron, aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. Now those emblems that I chose in the beginning, that was kind of funny because they're not showing up here. Radar sight still silent. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers incoming. Don't know how many. Clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Main squadron, head to runway. Column squadron, take off. Link to Skykeeper. Hurry, main squadron. Trigger your call sign is page two. Oh, okay, so what back. am I doing? Page two, clear for takeoff. Your situation is tight. It's a hell of a welcoming party, but we have faith in you. Good luck. Control. Do me a favor and get that bird in the air ASAP. Hear that? Column squadron and your wingmen are airborne. Take off and form up with Mage 1. Mage 2, altitude restriction is lifted. Good luck. I have no idea what I'm doing. Whoa, looks like the harbor's taking a lot of damage. Can't have any more casualties. Time to stop the bullshit. Oh, Mage wait, two. I thought it meant Form up with Mage 1. Isn't... All aircraft, let's do this. Golem squadron, it's go time. Roger that. Go This is the AWACS Skykeeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. Wilco. Trigger, I'm your wingman. You fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. Target is in range of guns. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Looks like bombers have been located. Can you, you know, shot down. like seriously? <laughs> uh, go figure. Mage two, form up with Mage one. Okay, so All we'll crap, pretend that this. that never Gold happened. Squadron, it's go time. Roger that. Go for understood. This is the AWACS Skykeeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. I hit triangle, I like probably shouldn't escorts. have done that. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. Oh, that's the Welcome. guns. The X is the guns. Okay. Trigger, I'm your wingman. Fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. Yeah, I'm watching him now. Okay, here we go. Looks like bombers have been located. It's showtime, Trigger. Let's see if you can handle the spotlight. You're a good pilot. So I told them. I had to fill an empty spot, so play along. It's still a leash, though. Wow, I haven't played a flying game in so long. Is he... I'm like, seriously? He's just able to do that easily? Whoa. 
Wow. Enemy bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage Two. Wow, because I almost hit it again. <laughs> Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. Change the radar. Oh, okay. There it is, sitting there all pretty, just waiting to be taken. Alert. You're leaving Operation Airspace. Okay, I see. Careful of ice formation in the clouds. Yeah, the controls feel nice. Smooth, I like it. I don't know how to uh, switch to the cockpit. Oh, that's pushing the right stick down. Oh, there we go. I don't like that view as much, but... Let's go introduce ourselves. Ally, ally, there's the target. Ah, oh, you could change your target like that. Okay. Oh, I almost did it again. Switched weapons, okay. Got to miss. Mage two, target down. Well, oh, yeah. Of course it's down. That's it. It's great when it's simple. Yeah, that sucks. I waited way too long. Mage two locked. Mage two. Enemy bomber down. Nice going, Mage two. Not too shabby, Mage two. You still got a long way to go, kid. I ain't no kid. Skykeeper Promise you that. One over. Tally two bandits. Copy that. It's a bomber and an escort. Oh, they're trigger oh. Mage two, maintain your element with Mage one. Do not break off. Mage one, make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Wilco. Okay. Two, let's maintain element. Copy that, Commander. I've got your six covered, sir. Radio. Oh, I missed. This is HQ. Of course I did. Attention all combat groups. Are there any drones? Verify. Drones? Are you kidding me right now? Jesus. This is the kind of shit that really chaps my ass. <sighs> UAVs. I can't tell them apart. I feel like I'm going in circles here. Good at dog fighting. Mage two, walking. Fox three. Target is down. Bad a boy, trigger. Ooh. 
There we go. While turning, press two to reduce the speed. Oh, okay, I see what they mean. Whoops! I fired that way too. Oh, I got him. I meant to do that. I like that radar view because it helps me know where I'm going. I missed. Yeah, whatever. Never claimed I knew what I was doing. Damage in on him. Nope. Missed again. intense. Okay, let's see if I can get one of them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought I was going to fly right into him. Got a small hit. I'm playing around with the uh, radar, which is kind of screwing me up. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to change targets or whatever. Oh, I see. That's what helps you lock on. Oh, 
so when you're like crosshairing a jet, hit triangle so that you switch to that actual target. Okay. So like this one. And then see? There we go. Okay, see, that's making more sense now. Can you tell I'm a noob? Hey, you learned though, right? There we go. Oh wow, look at those graphics. And... Boom! Really, really starting to like this game. I mean, I did from the beginning, but... I am stressed out, like I said. There's always that expectancy from people, like I said. People usually don't like watching a noob playing a game. They want to see an expert. Okay, let me turn around. Controls are so smooth, the graphics are so nice. It's definitely a good time. Once I get used to the controls and I kind of... See how I hit triangle and it toggles the, the blinking on the map, on the radar? So that's good. Ah, I feel like I'm spinning and maybe I should slow down. I don't want to stall though. I feel like I'm just spinning in a circle here. Alright, let me move away a bit. If that makes any sense. So that when I turn... Locked. Ooh, there we go. Come on. Ah, oh, it's because they're further up. Five minutes remaining. One remaining. Mage 2, keep your focus. You got this. Oh yeah, you have a timer too, which I have to admit. I hate timers in games. Like I... I understand. Doesn't mean I like them. To Gollum and Mage. Job well done. All bombers are down. Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. I'm almost sweating. Good going, Mage 2. Flight Commander looks like he's got what it takes. Let's slow down. It's just one sortie. Don't try to be a hero. I want you to make it back in one piece, you hear? Yeah, I gotta side with the boss man on this. Golem Squadron, this is HQ. Did you confirm any drones? What's the deal with all the drones? Where am I going? Column 1, return to base and report for debriefing. Where's that? Where am I going? I don't even know if I'm supposed to land or what. Oh. Okay. Go 
call sign is Mage 2. Verify and read back. Mage 2, clear for takeoff. That's the replay. Situation I want to skip the replay. Yeah, I don't want to replay. The, vi the video has been long enough as is. 35 minutes, my goodness. Yeah, this this video is uh <laughs> it's not We are currently do that good. assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. We know the attacking bogies were from Arusia. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Union continent were attacked in the same way. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. Right. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. Okay, so... I think this is just like a replay. The aircraft tree has been unlocked in campaign mode. Okay, that's a new feature that's unlocked. You now equip upgrade parts in campaign mode. So, next mission... Yeah, so this video was so long, unbelievable. I think we'll take a look at the uh, the tree and all that in the next video. I want this to just be, you know, the first mission, the menu and all that. Anyhow, if you stuck around, you're crazy. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down, and I'll make sure your plane crashes into the ocean. And uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, well, of course, that'd be great. And if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye now.